start in the Southeast Regional. In New Orleans, the only region where the top seed was gone, leaving number two Florida to face number three BYU and number four Wisconsin, the number eight Butler. Then we'll start this off with a player of the year in the SEC, Chandler Parsons, and possibly the player of the year in the nation, the Jimmer. And Jimmer struggled early, Smitty. Yeah, he did. I mean, you look at it, the first, what, 13 minutes of this game, I think he didn't score. And he's 0 for 6 to start. And you see what Florida was doing. They was crowding him, taking away airspace, and I think he was pressing just a little bit at the beginning. Kenny Boynton knocking down the three-pointer. And then they got little Irving Walker on there, Coach. Well, I think Walker uh, had a, a great game because I thought he made shots, but maybe it's important. He got in the paint and he made passes, and that was key down the stretch. Now Jimmer starts cranking it up. Sir. Got on track a little bit late in the first half. Didn't really get much help from his teammates, if not for the fact that Florida turned the ball over 10 times in the first half. The Gators would have had a huge lead, but as it stands, Fredette not a huge factor in the first half. Didn't play particularly well, but they went into halftime tied because of those Florida turnovers. It was dead even for 36 apiece. The Jimmer getting the left calf massaged as we go to the final 20 minutes. Parsons, ooh, big time shot. And then Jimmer with the roll. Shooters bounce. Alex Tyus had himself a game coach. He really did, you know, 19 points, 17 rebounds. He had some big plays down the stretch, and I think that was a big difference maker for him. How about Scotty Wilbick and playing D there? So you're not going to pull up from there, are you? He is, and he knocks down that massive three-pointer. Scotty report. He shoots it from deep. You never believe it, and he gets that release off so quick. That was the moment where you felt like he had a spark, BYU had a spark. Maybe they're going to win this thing going away, but Florida just wouldn't let it happen. Got two shots at the end of the game before the overtime. Not one, but two. And then Florida coach dominates the overtime session. Well, the kickouts, they got the ball inside, they kicked it out, Boynton hits one here. And as you're gonna see uh, somewhere, the, the drive and kickouts, that's a big time play and a big time shot. Parsons makes him pay and then Alex Tyus again. What a game. Fittingly, the, the exclamation point for the best player on the night, 17 rebounds as Tom mentioned, for big Alex Tyus really playing to his size and uh, we bid adieu to the Jimmer. Yes. You know the Jimmer. Yeah, I love him, but I think in that second half, he need to concentrate on just driving a little bit more. He got his game going in that first half by getting into that paint. Jimmer finishes with 32, took him 29 shots to do it, three for 15 from the promised land. Jimmer and the Cougars taking it on the chin.